My dear friends in Christ, I never thought of this prayer on my own. It never crossed my mind. We have had a couple of prayers for the sick in this ministry. We have had the ones we call Operation Storm the Cancer. And we had five days intensive, radical, and volcanic prayers against the government of cancer in the life of the children of God. For those of you who may be hearing my voice now, who are not part of that prayer, you are encouraged to go to the YouTube and the type Hearts of Jesus and Mary Ministries, and you are going to see that prayer on our website. The title is Operation Storm the Cancer, and there are five volumes of that prayer. Ever since that prayer has been released, God has been doing wonders. Many of us have heard the testimonies of what God has been doing through that prayer, even to the point of touching people's problems that have nothing to do with cancer. As a result of the miracles that Jesus himself has been doing in that prayer, or through that prayer, I have been led to start giving that prayer even for problems that have nothing to do with health. For example, people that are having stubborn cases, stubborn situations in their lives, maybe business is becoming stubborn, maybe problems, family problems are getting so stubborn. Why not I detect anything that is seeming stubborn? I give that prayer. And testimony has been coming out. Immigration problems have been solved through that prayer. The reason is because there is a connection between stubborn problems and cancer. Cancer itself is a stubborn problem. And so you can identify that stubborn situation in your life as a cancer. And you can do that prayer. And God will show up. But shortly after our prayer, the Lord called for this prayer. Specifically, he said to pray for those who are having, you know, terminal illness. People that are terribly sick. You see that? People that doctors have given up in their case, in a medical situation. All right? Some of them, because doctors have given up, they are now asked to go and die. And God said this prayer shall be specifically directed to address their situation. And whenever the Lord directs in such prayer, when he dictates a prayer to be done, it is for a purpose. He doesn't plow when there is no seed to sow. He doesn't cultivate when there is no, nothing to plant. He couldn't have called us into this prayer if there is no miracle that he wants to do. So this prayer shall be called Operation Storm, the Terminal Sickness. Operation Storm, the Terminal Sickness. <laughs> what is terminal sickness or illness? What does it mean? We hear that, that a lot, you know, even over the media and so on and so forth. But what does it mean? A terminal illness is an infection or an illness which will result in death. Because human beings have said it will result in death. Meaning that doctors have given up. That what terminal disease is. You see that? <laughs> it's incurable. 
the disease that cannot be cured or adequately treated and that is you know reasonably expected to result in death of the patient within a short period of time all right <laughs> I'm not a medical person, that's, that's what I understand it to be. Terminal illness, terminal infections, terminal sickness, whatever the name is goes with. We know that it is a sign that man has given up. That the human experts in medicine cannot track or control that situation. Therefore, it's considered incurable. There's no therapy that is capable of tracking it. That is, such cases defy, you know, known medical approach. We have to explain this thing so that we understand the prayer we're getting into. <laughs> And so in such cases, doctors may give the person a expected range of life, you know, when he, the person will die. You see that? So, this is the prayer we are storming tonight. We are praying against such class of diseases. Cancer is one of them. Heart diseases, our advanced heart disease is another one. And so many and so forth. All right? But the good thing is that we have a doctor who can never give up, who has the solution to the problem, who has the strategy for that struggle. His name is Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Oh! My dear friends in Christ, as we have come under the leadership of Jesus to call on heaven, heaven will answer. Reign of good health will precipitate to this prayer. The government of the power and jaws of death will be broken. Because our God has called us Day to day to bless us, to reverse that situation. So don't give up. No matter the situation, even if man has given up, don't give up. Doctors may give up, but don't give up. Don't give up. Some time ago, we had a testimony of a young man in his early 40s who came from overseas for the medical treatment here in the you know, United States in the best hospital in the country that deals and with cancer. And after every attempt to arrest the situation failed and so they gave up and told him to go and die. It gave me great joy that Jesus Christ healed that man. Gave me joy the day I was talking with him and he was telling me, look, God is great. God is wonderful. Doctors could not understand why a man could become cancer-free just a matter of weeks without any treatment. <laughs> that is the kind of prayer we 
have come here to do. That is the kind of thing Jesus wants to do for somebody. Are you the person? Or is the person ready to you? <laughs> but we know that our God will bless us this prayer. He will bless us in this prayer. Talk to him. Talk to him this hour. And say, Lord, I come to you in this prayer. Let this terminal sickness, this terminal disease, let it be uprooted. Father, I must live. I will not die. I shall see the goodness of your glory in my life. Father, come and fill me with your miracle. Father, the hour has come. Let heaven open. Let heaven open. Father, look at me at this hour. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Begin to call on him now. Begin to call on him now. Ask him to locate you. Ask him to locate you. Yes, my Lord. People that are in overseas, that are sick, terminally sick, anywhere they are, people in the hospitals that are terminally sick, even those that we don't know, we are bringing them to the Lord in this prayer. Let the Lord touch them. Father, touch our people. Father, touch our people. Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Ask him to touch them. Let him bring his healing. Let him bring his healing. He's the healing power. He's the healing power. Let the healing of Jesus, the power of Jesus, enter into the hospitals in the name of Jesus. Jesus, into the ICUs. Let him touch them. Let him touch them. Let him bring healing. Let him bring healing. The power of Jesus. The power of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Every health station, every stubborn health station, Every terminal case in my life, I command you now to be terminated. To be terminated by the terminator. Jesus is a terminator. He is secret terminator. He is sick terminator. Ask him to terminate. Let him terminate. In the name of Jesus. Is all pray, 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 pray. Rebo, bo, 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 bo. Jesus, pray now, pray now, pray now. Let him move now. The power of Jesus, let him move now. The mighty Jesus, ask him to move. Ask him to move. Ask him to move. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, you call us into this prayer. Father, oh Lord, we have obeyed you by gathering for this prayer. Father, we are praying now. Therefore, Father, do what the man cannot do. Father, do what the man cannot do. People with terrible sickness, people with terrible disease. Father, oh Lord, arise. Papa, arise. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Bless us, oh Lord. We want you to bless us. Bless us, O oh Lord. We want you to bless us. Bless us, O oh Lord. He loves, O oh Lord. He loves, O oh Lord. We want you to heal us. He loves, O oh Lord. We want you to heal us. He loves, O oh Lord. Save us, O oh Lord. Heal us, O oh Lord. Bless us, O oh Lord. Save us, O oh Lord. We want you to bless us. Bless us, O oh Lord. We want you to heal us. Heal us, O oh Lord. We want you to save us. Save us, O oh Lord. We want you to bless us. Bless us, O oh Lord. We are asking him to bless us with good health. Let him terminate every spirit of terminal illness. Whatever spirit that is responsible for this terminal problem in my life, let that situation be arrested tonight. Jesus. Papa, you spoke to the storm, and the storm obeyed you. Now I'll speak to the storm again, Lord, for they will have no option than to bless you with submission to your word. <laughs> for in the name of 
Jesus, every knee, including terminal diseases, must bow. Anywhere they may be now, such a terminal element, we command them now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whose power and glory can never be contested or challenged, whose power can never be altered by the power of his name, we command terminal illness to shrink to zero. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> My dear friends in Christ, a patient who has such an illness that is terminal is called a terminal patient. Is there any way the enemy has put terminal in your life, giving you a name, a nomenclature, giving you an identity, a, a, a terminal, giving you a, a tag, labeled terminal? We are removing that terminal identity in your life in the name of Jesus. Through this prayer, may the angels of God cut off that terminal in your life. You are not a terminal patient in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Medically, a patient is considered terminal you know, or terminally ill when their expected life, uh, you know, expectancy is six months or less. And this is under the assumption that the disease will run its normal course. Six months is often the 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 the, the, the range, but you know, even though it's standard, but it's arbitrary. But it is given on the assumption that the disease will run its normal course. That's an assumption. It's not that it must be that way. It's an assumption. Jesus will come and uh, destroy the cause of that sickness. That sickness has a cause. It has a, a progression. And that's why they can be able to predict that if this situation continues this way, this is, this is the life expectancy of this person. But when Jesus steps into the situation, he terminates it. He alters the, 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 the trend of that sickness. Many of us hear a testimony some time ago in this ministry. It's a sister, I think this happened last year. A sister, I remember when she called, called me and was, you know, pouring out her heart about her own brother. The doctors have given up, labeled him terminal. <laughs> but when we stormed heaven, the God in this play line, our God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he answered us. That man's situation defied every medical knowledge. He got healed just by praying over him over the phone. He could he wasn't even talking. I had to ask him to put the phone on speaker, I let him just hear the voice. And God Almighty altered every plan of the devil in his life. They gave him how the length of months he was, he was to live. <laughs> the man stood up, got on his knees, got on his legs, and left that hospital with the, surprising everybody. He was healed. It's a miracle. We have such cases, many cases of such in this ministry. Many of you who attend our testimony nights, we know that it is a fun being a testimony night, hearing the miracles God do in the life of people. So I don't know the, the disease that has its cause in your life right now. Maybe its cause is running towards terminal. But we are calling on the power of Jesus to punctuate that disease. To alter the cause of that disease, to paralyze the cause of that disease, in the name of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus arise and deliver you. Arrive and deliver you 
in the name of Jesus. May the power of his glory begin to touch you now. Begin to touch you now. Yes, my Lord. Jesus, whatever the situation, may the Lord touch you. Ask him to touch you. Ask him to touch you. The power of Jesus. The power of Jesus. Every disease that has come to terminate your life, we cancel it now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Jesus. Pray now, pray now, pray now, pray now. Yes, my Lord. Ask him to touch you. Ask him to touch you. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. This very disease, you cannot destroy me. You cannot take you to the grave. In the name of Jesus. I am a child of God. Jesus, my boo, pray now. My boo, pray now. Pray, 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 pray. Yes, my Lord. Jesus, every terminal illness, every terminal disease, yay, resulting from ancestral cause, I command you now, in the name of Jesus, bomb by fire. Be destroyed now. Be destroyed now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Jesus. I shall be a walking testimony. I shall be a walking testimony. In the name of Jesus. I shall be a walking testimony. In the name of Jesus. My Lord and my Father, give me a testimony that I shall testify before your people. In the name of Jesus. Father, touch your people. Jesus. My boy, pray now. Call on him. Call on him. Call on him. Jesus. Let the Lord arise. My Lord and my Father. Arise and arise. Destroy this problem. Father, organize it and uh, treat me with your power. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Jesus, I reject every mandate to the devil concerning my life. I reject every medical report that say that this sickness will destroy me. I reject it. It's not my portion. It's not my portion. In the name of Jesus. This very sickness shall not punctuate my life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bouncing in the Lord. I am bouncing in the Lord. Amen. Bouncing in the Lord. We are bouncing in the Lord. Amen. Bouncing in good health. We are bouncing in good health every day. Children of God are bouncing in good health every day. Children of God are bouncing in the Lord. Bouncing in the Lord, we are bouncing in the Lord. Bouncing in good health, we are bouncing in good health. Bouncing in the Lord, we are bouncing in the Lord. Bouncing, 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 we are bouncing in the Lord. Bouncing, 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 we are bouncing in good health. Amen. Jesus, I am bouncing in good health. I am swimming in the ocean of good health. I am a testimony. I am a testimony. I am a testimony in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. Declare it loud and clear. I am a testimony. I am a walking testimony. I am a testimony in the name of Jesus. I am a testimony. Hey, testimony is my name. Through this prayer, testimony will locate me. Testimony is my name tag. That is my name tag. That is my name tag. Hey, leukemia, cancer. Hey, you terminal diseases. You cannot live in my body. My body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. In my body is not a reservoir for sickness. I am not a carrier of disease. It's not my name. It's not my DNA. It's not my identity. Hear me and hear me loud and clear. You evil disease that have been projected to come and terminate me. You cannot take me to the grave. You cannot see me go to the grave. I would rather see you go to the grave in the name of Jesus. You have come with the name terminal. But you know what? I terminate you with this prayer. Jesus terminates you with this prayer. Angels of God terminate you with this prayer. In the name of Jesus. The Holy Trinity terminates you with this prayer. Yes, my Lord. 
He does. Let the blood of Jesus begin to come upon me. Let the blood of Jesus begin to surround me. I cover myself now with the blood of Jesus. I stand against this very terminal problem, this terminal illness. I stand against you now with the blood of Jesus. I conquer you now with the blood of Jesus. I overcome you now with the blood of Jesus. For the Bible says, Revelation 12 verse 11, is us, yes, my Lord, that they triumph over him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of the testimonies, and so shall it be that I overcome you, you terminal disease, you terminal illness, I overcome you with the blood of Jesus, I overcome you, everything you plan against me, I declare them now, totally cancelled now, in the name of Jesus, I terminate you, in the name of Jesus, you cannot rule my life, you cannot rule my plasma, you cannot not rule my life in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord, my people, begin to pray now. Begin to call on Jesus. Yes, my Lord, you evil spirit, you terminal sickness, I overcome you. Jesus overcome you. For the Bible says, John 16, verse 33, I have told you these things, that in me, that in me, you shall have peace. In me, you shall have Victory in this world, you shall have trouble. In this world, you shall have an attack. But take heart, for I have overcome the world. I have overcome terminal disease. I have overcome them now. And the Bible says, First John to the Bible form, whoever is born of God is an overcomer. And because I'm born of God, I overcome terminal disease. I overcome you. You terminal disease. Hear me, hear me loud and clear. I, 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 I am not your candidate. I am not your victim. I'm not your patient. You cannot send me to the grave. I am too big for you. I am too hot for you. In the name of Jesus, I am a child of God. Jesus, my people, begin to pray now. Begin to pray now. Call on the power of the blood of Jesus. Let him locate you. Let the blood of Jesus begin to touch you. Begin to locate you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I am the Lord, thy Lord, I am the Lord, your healer. I said my words, and he used your disease. I am the Lord, your healer.
That is God talking. The one who heals. The one who restores the, the health integrity of his children. That God is here. That God wants to bless you. That God wants to restore you. In Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17, the Bible says, For I will restore health to you, and your wounds are will heal. Declares the Lord. <laughs> when you hear, declares the Lord, it means that this is not man talking. It wasn't Jeremiah talking. And now, it is not the person you are hearing his voice that is talking. This is God saying, He wants to, He has called, he, I will. Not I may. Not maybe, I will heal. No. He said, I will restore you. That's an action. It's an action word. I will restore you. Do you believe it? If you believe it, may it come to pass in your life. May the Lord restore you. May He restore you. May He fortify you. May He take away the garment of sickness in your life. Garment of terminal disease in your life. May all of them be turned into pieces tonight. In the name of Jesus. May the Almighty God take away your shame tonight. Yes, my Lord. Jesus. Every terminal identity in my life. Every disease that has made its way to alter my blood group, to alter my blood. Father, O oh Lord, may you remove them from my life. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> may that mercy of God be with you. May God restore you. May God vindicate you. In the name of Jesus. May he who is the terminator, whose name is Jesus, terminate that illness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Pharaoh, let my people go. Jehovah, love is calling them. Allow them go to their promised land. Pharaoh, let my people go. Pharaoh, let my people go. that Pharaoh in the name of Jesus. May that Pharaoh quench in the name of Jesus. Amen. May that Pharaoh catch fire in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Amen. The Bible says in Nehemiah chapter 9 verse 9, 
The Lord saw the misery of our ancestors in Egypt. And you hear their cries from beside the Red Sea. There are people that the sickness, the terminal disease have put them to the, at their own Red Sea. Alright? And they are at the Red Sea by the shore crying. Wondering how will they cross over Red Sea. And praying that God will provide a Moses through this prayer. That to make you to cross over to the, to, the other, to the other side of good health. Healing power of Jesus. Healing power of Jesus. May he who heard the misery, who saw the misery, and heard the cries of his people in, in Nehemiah chapter 9 verse 9, let him also hear your own cry. Let him hear your own cry. Let him hear your own cry. Jesus. May he hear your own cry. Yes, my Lord. May he wipe your tears in the name of Jesus. May he Amen. fight your battle in the name of Jesus. Oh, Amen. Jesus. Father, oh Lord, wipe the tears of your people. Father, your people are crying. Let them see the burning bush again in their life. Father, speak to them tonight. Father, arise. 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 Oh, Jesus. Arise, oh Lord. And fight the battle of your people. Father, if this is what money will solve, they wouldn't have been there. But this is beyond money. This is beyond connection. Many of them have loved ones who are medical experts, but this is beyond them. This is beyond the expertise. Father, who can handle this situation if not you? Father, attend to the misery of your children. The Bible says in Ezra chapter 3 verse 7 that the Lord, indeed, the Lord have seen the misery of my people in Egypt. I have heard their cry. And I have heard them crying out because of their slave drivers. And I am concerned about their suffering. Wow. God is talking that he's concerned about your suffering. The Lord is saying he's concerned about this situation. Wow. That's the good news. The Lord is saying, I have heard your cry. I have seen what the, the slave drivers are doing in your life. Slave drivers. Do you know that that sickness is a slave driver? A slave driver drives the slave to where the slave doesn't want to go. He can drive the slave to go and live in the, in the forest. The slave has no option to do that, than to do that. He can drive the slave to go to the bare ground and sleep. All right? The, the slave has no option. That's why he's a slave. He's not a servant. A servant can say, I, I decide to leave this job. But he's not a slave. Slave is like the servant of the servant of the servants. The lowest grade, the lowest social class of a human being is the class of slavery. And that is what the terminal disease is doing. The spirit that is behind that sickness is a slave driver. Driving a child of God to where you don't want to go to. When the Israelites were in Egypt, they were slaves. So they were, they were living in the farm. In the cottage. They were only eating watermelons, eating cucumbers, Onions, not delicious food, nothing prepared, not no well composed food, not stuff for them. The drive must the, the slave drivers eat the best, but the children, the slave themselves, are the ones who are working at the expense of the situation. My dear friends in Christ. I am here to call on the Lord for you. We are here to call on the mercy of Jesus. I don't know where the 
is left driver driving you to? Are they driving you to the grave? Are they driving you to the hospital? Have they placed you on a wheelchair? Huh? Remember that the, the slave the slave driver takes the, the the slave, you know, take them to where they don't want to go. Nobody would, by choice, decide to go to ICU and decide to live there. Nobody. I mean, no sensible human being, I'm assuming that. No sensible person would decide to be living in the grave, grave, graveyard. Again, I'm assuming a sensible person. Even if the person is not sensible, he is still the same slave driver that made him unsensible, made him mad. Because even the mad person that Jesus visited in the uh, encountered in the that live in the gravesite, it was not by his own choice. It was the same slave driver that the demon that moved him there. Today, the same slave driver is he taking people to where they don't want to go to, driving people to the hospital, driving them to be under medications, driving them into life of misery. But we are coming on power of Jesus tonight. Every slave driver that is driving this sickness in order to drive my line, I command you now, in the name of Jesus, be restored by fire. Be restored by fire. Yes, my Lord. It's all. My will begin to pray. Begin to pray now. The Lord is saying, Exodus 3 verse 7, that the Lord is concerned about your suffering. That the Lord is concerned about the activities of the slave driver. That the Lord is concerned about your situation. And the Bible says, I have indeed seen the misery of my people in Egypt. I have indeed, I have heard their misery. I have seen their misery. I have heard their cry. Yaka, yaka, ra. Rumba, ba, ba, ba. Begin to pray now. Begin to pray now. Every slave driver, every slave driver, driving my line, driving my sickness, I command you now, in the name of Jesus, bomb by fire, bomb by fire. My people begin to pray. Vibrate in prayer. Vibrate in prayer. Pray, 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 pray. Every power, power of darkness. Ay, 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 driving the sickness. I command you now, begin to melt, begin to melt, begin to melt. I shall not suffer your hand in the name of Jesus. Ay, ay, ay. Amen. Jesus is here today to turn your story around. Jesus is here today to wipe your tears away. There is nothing this Jesus cannot do. Only give your life to Jesus, he will turn your story round. Only give your life to Jesus, he will wipe your tears away. Jesus is here today to turn your story round. Jesus is here today to wipe your tears away. There is nothing this Jesus cannot do. If you give your life to Jesus, he will turn your story round. If you give your life to Jesus, he will wipe your tears away. Only give your life to Jesus, he will turn your story round. Only give your life to Jesus, he will wipe your tears away. Jesus, he will wipe your tears away. He's a tear wiper. <laughs> Maybe tears have flooded your, your face that, that no more... Even the tears could no more even come out again because that it was finished. But you wipe your tears. Acts chapter 7, verse 34. And the Bible says, I have indeed seen the oppression of my people in Egypt. I have heard their groaning, and they have come down to deliver them. This is God talking. Genesis 16 verse 11. 
Ha! The Bible says, because the Lord has given heed to your affliction. The Lord has given heed. He has heard. He has been touched by your affliction. That God is here. Genesis chapter 21 verse 17, and the Bible says, God heard the Lord crying, and the angel of the Lord called to Hagar from heaven and said to her, What is the matter with you, Hagar? Do not fear, for God has heard the voice of the Lord where he is. God is talking to somebody. What is the matter? What is the matter? What is the matter? I mean, God is talking to you. Say, do not fear. For God has heard your voice. That God is here. Genesis chapter 29 verse 32. B, the Bible said, because the Lord has seen my affliction. <laughs> Genesis chapter 31 verse 12. And the Bible says, that indeed, lift up now your eyes and see. That all the male goats which are mating are stripped, speckled, and even mottled. For I have seen all the all that Leban has been doing to you. I don't know what Leban is doing in your life. I don't know who is the Leban in your life. Siphoning your strength, siphoning your life. Look, this was a message meant for Jacob. But Laban didn't want him to have good life. He didn't want him to have freedom. That sickness doesn't want to have freedom. Because said, I have seen all that Laban is doing in your life. I have seen what this sickness is doing in your life. And I have come to do something at this hour. Yes, my Lord. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jesus. I saw my dear people of God. We are calling on the mercy of God to surround you. May God surround you. May He vindicate you. May He fortify you. May He make way for you. Jesus. May He incubate you with good health. I minister a season of good health in your life that you shall experience good health. I minister Mark 15, verse 38. Let the temple veil be turned into two from top to bottom. That you shall be free. Let the veil of sickness be turned into two now. Let them be destroyed now. It says, mm. The garment of sickness is no more for you. I stand against them. May the power of Jesus break them into pieces. That you shall be free. That my people shall be free. Pharaoh must let my people go. This is not a, an idea. This is not a suggestion. This is not an appeal of God. God is not appealing to that sickness. God is not appealing to that Pharaoh. God is commanding Pharaoh. Pharaoh, you must let my people go. Hear me, Baba, Baba, Sindere, Baba. Every Pharaoh in my life. Hear me, hear me loud and clear. That every government of yours in my life, I don't belong to you again. I stand against you. I stand against you. You handle Pharaoh. All time in my life. All time in my destiny. I cancel you now. I command you now. In the name of Jesus, begin to melt. Begin to melt. Begin to melt. Every fellow of my family, begin to melt and tag in my life. Bomb by fire. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Have I in Christ Jesus? We shall live or we shall not die. My life is hidden in Christ Jesus. I shall live or I shall not die. Your life is hidden in Christ Jesus. You shall live or you shall not die. I shall live, oh, I shall not die. You shall live, oh, you shall not die. We shall live, oh, we shall not die. Oh, I shall live, oh, I shall not die. My life is hidden in Christ Jesus. I shall live, oh, I shall not die. A life I hid in Christ Jesus. 
We shall live or we shall not die. We shall live or we shall not die. Oh. I shall live or I shall not die. You shall live or you shall not die. Yeah. We shall live or we shall not die. Jesus. My dear friends in Christ, at this point in time, let us go to the scripture, the word of God. And uh, we are going to read in Matthew chapter 8, verse 2 to 4. Matthew chapter 8, verse 2 to four. And I'm reading from New King James Version. And behold, a leper came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Then Jesus put out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing, be cleansed. And immediately, his leprosy was cleansed. And Jesus said to him, See that you tell no one, but go your way. Show yourself to the priest. And offer the gift that Moses commanded as a testimony to them. And this is the gospel of the Lord. My dear friends in Christ, this story was not a parable, but a real event that took place in the time of Jesus. When Jesus was on earth, Acts 10, verse 38 tells us that he is filled with Holy Ghost and power and was going about doing good, healing people who were sick. In this story, we see one of the miracles that Jesus did. Healing a leper. A man with leprosy. In the time, in the biblical time, leprosy was a dreaded disease, in fact, a terminal disease. It's only God that can intervene to deliver any person with leprosy. In their own time, it was a terminal disease. And so what they used to do is to quarantine the people, segregate them and put them in in a place that nobody will ever go there. That's where they're going to stay. They can't go to the market, public market. They cannot go to the stream to, to mix up people. They, they don't, can't even see their family members. They can't even see their kinsmen. They are cut off. Most people who had leprosy die because of emotional crisis. Today, we don't talk about leprosy, but the spirit behind their leprosy is still at work, manifesting and raising its ugly head with other names. So many names. Cancer is one of them. Leukemia is one of them. HIV, and so on and so forth. The same spirit, the same terminal disease, the same terminal sick spirit is at work. Changing its colors. Packaged in a different envelope. It, years ago, it came as leprosy. Today, it's having the envelope of cancer. Taking the packaging of leukemia. <laughs> but 
May that package shall be destroyed tonight in the name of Jesus. This man was having this terminal disease. Leprosy. Leprosy is a chronic infectious disease which messes up the skin. It affects especially the skin and even attacks the, the, the nerves, especially the peripheral um, you know, nerves. It freezes the nerves. Terrible disease. Jesus. Paralyzes the person, wastes the person's muscles before you know what happened. Muscle is, is, is frozen. Producing deformities here and there. Before you know what's happened, the person's life, the person's life is completely deformed. It's terrible. <laughs> but this man, though quarantined, though segregated, met Jesus. And made a simple request. Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean again. Oh. The Bible did not say that Jesus ignored him. The Bible said, says that John, in Matthew 8 verse 3, that Jesus put his hand upon him. And touch him. All you need is a touch of Jesus. A simple touch of Jesus made this man clean. It just a touch. Touch. Just a touch wouldn't take more than two seconds. Just a touch. That's all. What you need for that problem to end, for that terminal disease to end, is just a touch of the Lord. The Bible says in Matthew 8 verse 3 that immediately his leprosy was cleansed, was taken away. The Bible didn't tell us the name of that man. He just called him a leper. His sickness, his affliction became his name. What is your own name? What sickness have taken your name? My prayer is that this same Jesus will lay his hand on you and cleanse you. So I invite you at this hour to ask him to touch you. Remember Matthew 8 verse 2. Lord, if you are willing, make me whole again. Make me clean again. If you are willing. And the Lord just touched him. You know what the Lord said? I am willing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, the Lord is about to tell somebody today, I am willing. I am willing. I'm willing. Is that your question? Ask him to make you clean. Ask him to terminate this disease. Ask him to remove this terminal situation, this terminal disease. Ask him to remove it. Ask him to remove it. The Lord has called for this prayer because he wants to remove it. That's the reason he called for this prayer. I didn't call for this prayer. He called for this prayer. Make sure you talk to him. Tell him, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. And I can hear him telling you, yes, I will make you clean. I am willing. Jesus, talk to him now. Talk to him now. Talk to him now. Ask him to hear you. Ask him to touch you. Jesus, ask him to touch you. In the name of Jesus, as you are praying now, as you are pouring your heart to him, as you are opening your mouth and the Presenting this situation to the Lord. The power of God is moving now. Begin to talk to him now. Begin to talk to him now. Talk to him, talk to him, talk to him, talk to him, talk to him. Talk to him, talk to him. The power of God is moving now. The power of God is moving now. Jesus, receive the breath of healing. Receive the breath of healing. Receive it! Jesus. Yes, 
my lord talk to him talk to him while his songs are going on in the background you are invited to continue to pour your heart upon him begin to present your situations to him now jesus yes my lord let Church shall declare a thing and shall come to pass. As children of God, we unite our faith together to decree tonight that every arrow of death, spirit of death, 
wagon of death that are carrying the children of God to the land of death must be grounded, must be grounded. That vehicle of death shall never carry you. In the name of Jesus, he shall not carry you. In the name of Jesus, for the Bible says, Revelation 20, Leviticus 20, verse 8, And the five of you shall chase a hundred, and the hundred shall put ten thousand to flight, and the, the enemy shall fall before you by the sword. And so we pray tonight that as we join hand to hand in this prayer, that every power of the enemy shall be subdued through this corporate prayer. In the name of Jesus, that through this prayer, Thousands and millions of demons shall be put to flight, and they shall fall by the sword. In the name of Jesus, yes, my Lord, for the weapon of our warfare is not carnal. In the name of Jesus, Second Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 says that such weapons that are mighty through God to the pulling down of the strongholds. In the name of Jesus, every stronghold of terminal sickness in your life, we command them to be paralyzed. In the name of Jesus, yes, my Lord, we pray for the healing power of Jesus to locate you now. Every witchcraft spirit that is sponsoring that sickness, we command them to be crushed. For the Bible says, Ezra 22 verse 18, do not suffer the weak to live, and so we cannot afford to leave this situation to prevail. Let the blood of Jesus and the name of Jesus cripple every power that is manipulating the sickness, manipulating the sickness to torment me in the name of Jesus. For the Bible says, Psalm 142 verse 7, set me free from my prison, that I may praise you, O Lord. Father, O Lord, I refuse to be in the prison of terminal disease in the name of Jesus. Jesus, Holy Father, arise, Papa, arise, and destroy the mandate in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord, Jesus, let the blood of Jesus begin to touch you now. Papa, set me free. Psalm 147, verse 7c, and the Bible says, The Lord frees me from the prisoners. Every prison gate of terminal disease in my life, the Lord says he has freed me from your hand. Therefore, let your shackles break in the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jeremiah chapter 40, verse 4, and the Bible says, I will set you free. I will set you free from the shackles that are on your wrist. Every shackle of death, every yoke of death, every chain of death, holding your shackle down, holding your this now, holding your life now, I command them now, let them be broken now, in the name of Jesus, for the Bible says, Jeremiah 51 verse 20, that I am the battle axe of the Lord, I am a weapon of war in the hand of the Lord, and so in the name of Jesus, I claim that stand as a battle axe to break into pieces every power of darkness, every state of sickness, every terminal disease, no of of diseases against my life, I command them to be crippled, every giant in my life that wants to kill me, let them be destroyed now, in the name of Jesus. Is all as I declare it, and so shall it be. For the Bible says, Number 14, verse 28, As surely as I live, I will do to you the very thing I've heard you say, in the name of Jesus, as the Lord have heard me say, that this sickness is not my portion, so shall it be, that it shall deliver me, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, may the blood of Jesus begin to fight my battle. This affliction shall not happen a second time. For the Bible says, Numbers the book of Nahum, chapter 1, verse 9. Affliction shall not happen a second time. It shall not happen a second time. Hey! hey I decree and I declare. This very affliction, this very situation. Hey! It's not. It shall not happen a second time. In the name of Jesus. And the Bible says, Isaiah chapter 7, verse 7. It shall not stand. They shall not stand. In the name of Jesus. This invasion, this sickness that invaded my life, this sickness that I've invaded my life, it shall not happen a second time. It shall not happen again. In the name of Jesus. Ay, 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 ay. Jesus, the Lord will destroy and they disappoint the enterprise of this sickness in my life. Job chapter 5 verse 12, and the Bible says, The Lord disappoints the device of the crafty, so that their hands cannot perform the enterprise. Every enterprise of this terminal disease in my life. Yes, my Lord, such merchant, such vampire, I command them now, burn into pieces. Let them burn by fire. Let them burn by fire. For the Bible says, 4 John 3 verse 8, For this reason, for this purpose, the Son of God was made manifest, that he shall destroy the works of the devil, that he shall destroy
man can do. I know he's able. Oh, yes, he's able. My Lord is able to do what no man can do. Our God is able. Your God is able. We know he's able to do what no man can do. Oh, yes, he's able. I know he's able. I know he's able to do what no man can do. My God is able, able. My God is able. Oh, yes, he's able to do what no man can do. I know he's able. Oh, yes, he's able. Our God is able to do what no man can do. We know he's able. I know he's able. You know he's able to do what no man can do. Our God is able. Oh, yes, he's able. My God is able to do what no man can do. Jesus, he can do what no man is able to do. That's our God. He's able, superlatively able. <laughs> Jesus, marvelously able. That's our God. In fact, Genesis 18 verse 14 says, Is anything too hard for the Lord? Of course, no. Second Kings chapter 3 verse 18 answers to that question, saying, this is an easy thing in the eyes of the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 17, B says, nothing is too hard for you, O Lord. Jesus Matthew 19 verse 20 says, With the man it is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 27 says, Behold, I am the Lord of all flesh. Is anything too hard for me? Huh? Luke 1 verse 37, For with God nothing shall be impossible. That God is about to prove that medical report wrong. <laughs> He's about to use you to make a testimony. Jesus, I am praying that he touches you tonight. I am praying that he visits you tonight. Jesus, those who are plagued by killer disease, by terminal sicknesses, may God deliver you in the name of Jesus. Anyone haunted by life-threatening attack, May God attack your attacker in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Jesus heals terminal illnesses. In fact, he's a specialist in healing terminal sicknesses. He's a specialist in that. All right? Look at what we, where we read in Matthew chapter 8, verse 2 to 4. This man was terminally sick. A killer disease was attacking his life, eroding his health, threatening him. And I was about to take him to the land of the grave. If that reminds me, when you go to the airport, you have to know the terminal where from where you will fly. There are so many terminals in an airport. When you get to the right terminal, the next thing is to board, and the plane will take you off. The terminal disease has a terminal in their own airport. To take their victim, to drive their victim, just like a slave driver, to drive them to a terminal, a death terminal, put them, uh, to force them, drive them to board 
a doomed flight. People call it terminal because of the reason I've told you. But Jesus is a terminator of the terminal disease. <laughs> Jesus. I think we shall name this title, this talk, to this prayer, Terminate the Terminator. <laughs> oh, yeah. Any power that want to take me to the terminal of terminal disease, Holy Ghost, fire, is not my portion. I will not go there. Terminal. If they visit a family, they will take a whole family and board them at the terminal. And you see a whole family clearing. I saw a message somebody sent the other day. Uh, it was heartbreaking. A whole family of, of about uh, six children at school age. All of them just died, bam, just like that. Because a, spiritually, a terminator came and they invaded them. Where, where do you console such a woman or a family? All the children, just like that. Bam. Somebody became an instrument to poison a food that the children ate. And all of them died. Terminator. I refuse to be a victim of Terminator in the name of Jesus. Every spirit hovering over the head to terminate me, monitoring me to terminate me, I, 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 I command in the name of Jesus, crash, I'm burning to pieces. <laughs> Jesus. Do you have a terminal illness? That I have told you six months to live If this is your physical condition and uh, you want to live and not to die, then this prayer will be used to deliver you. There are people who, when they receive such a message, they accept it and they're okay with it. They start preparing for themselves to die. I've met some of them. One told me, oh, well, 60 years old is okay, you know. I think I've lived long enough. That was it. I was just looking at him. See me? Okay, you are ready to go? Say, yeah, what do I do? He doesn't know the power of Jesus. If he knows about Jesus, he will know that Jesus will heal him. The reason why you are here, listen to the prayer, because you believe that Jesus will heal you. Look at what we read in Matthew 8, verse 2 to 4. Very interesting. In Matthew chapter two verse chapter eight verse four, the Bible says that, and this man was jumping up and down. <laughs> Jesus told him, "Don't tell anybody." But he went out suddenly. He couldn't hold it. So go and show yourself to the priest. <laughs> Jesus wanted wanted it to be done quietly, but this man couldn't hold himself. And pray that this miracle that God is about to do for you, it shall never be covered up. It shall be testified in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Amen. <laughs> Are you the next person in the agenda? The man who healed the leper is here to heal you. Jesus heals terminal illnesses till today. All terminal diseases. Jesus wants to heal your terminal illness and restore you to health. All right? Doctors may tell you there's no medical care again or there's no medical cure available again. They have done all their best and that you will die within a few months. Oh, they have done their best. Jesus will take off from there. It only becomes a miracle when human strength has come to its limit. That would become a miracle. Otherwise, you would think that it was science that healed you. <laughs> 
maybe your medical report is that if this is terrible and it doesn't make do again, go home. But God has a better report for you. God has a better report for you. Amen. The living God who created heavens, the earth, and who created you says, I am the Lord who heals you. Exodus 15, verse 26. God's report supersedes every report of man. The report of God is supersedes the power of doctors' medical reports. Your doctor reports may say your death is going to happen within days or weeks or less than six months. However, God's report says His will is that you will live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord has not finished with you. What He wants to achieve or complete in life using you has not been completed. So the terminator cannot terminate you. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus heals terminal illnesses in many stories in the Bible. And we have heard that of Matthew chapter 8. The next one is to hear your own story. This man knelt down before Jesus. I said, Lord, if you are willing, hear me. And the Lord took care of it. <laughs> and Jesus Christ, in his unconditional love and a compassion for every human being, reached out and touched him. Touched this man who had a deadly and highly contagious terminal disease. He who did it for that man is still the same today. Remember Hebrews 13 verse 8. That Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. He's still willing to make you well today. He wants to make your terminal illness to disappear. He wants to clean you up. He wants to restore your health. Let me repeat it again. Without being sorry for repeating this several times. That Jesus heals terminal illness. And he wants to do it in your life. <laughs> Jesus. Talk to him. Why not bring that situation to the Lord? Huh? Why not bring it to the Lord? Don't lose hope. God is using this message to talk to you. Don't lose hope. The power of Jesus is still moving. <laughs> Jesus. This night, the power of Jesus is still moving. I know that websites end up with .com, most, most of them. The .com. You are welcome to Jesus Healing Power Today .com. It is a place to heal somebody. It is a place to touch somebody. You have come to the .com of Healing Power. In the name of Jesus, I am praying that as you have come, into the dot com that so shall it be by the time you are going you will become the dot go dot go into good health in the name of jesus may he hear you now ay, 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 ay. that you as you have come to dot com you will become and go into dot go to go into good health to receive the good health may Lord bless you may Lord sanctify you may he terminate every terminal sickness in the name of jesus let him battle battle in the name of jesus amen the hammer that shatters the rock the hammer that shatters the rock the hammer the rock, Jesus, the hammer, the hammer that shatters the rock. He will shatter your sickness. He will shatter your problem. He will shatter your disease. He will shatter.
Matai yo sickness Jesus the hammer the hammer that shatters the rock Jesus the hammer the hammer that shatters the rock Jesus the hammer the hammer that shatters the rock the hammer that shatters the rock Jesus He is the hammer that shatters the rock Jeremiah 23 verse 29 says is not my word like fire like a hammer that breaks the rock into pieces this is the word of god the word of god is our divine tablet our medication this night the word of god <laughs> may that word of god shatter that rock that sickness may the word of god shatter them into pieces May the word of God put the sickness to shame. Put the cause of that sickness to shame. That sickness shall not follow you again. We command it to melt by fire. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Jesus. So, my dear friends in Christ, let us take advantage of, of this prayer. People are sleeping and you are awake in this not vigil prayer. You think that God will ignore you? I mean, no. Jesus is compassionate. You can't come to him and ignore you with all your heart. Mm -mm. He will heal you. He will deliver you from that terminal illness. <laughs> Jesus. And let me also tell you, perhaps, I said perhaps, so, maybe you think the terminal illness is too powerful. You think he's, a, he's mighty? Okay. Well. Ah, ah. That reminds me. Jesus. The Bible tells us for such situations that appear to be stubborn, that appear to be mighty, the Bible tells us that our God is mighty here. If that sickness is mighty, our God is mightier. Ha, <laughs> The Bible says in Mark chapter 1 verse 7, There cometh one mightier than I after me, the less of whose shoes I am not worthy to stoop down and, and, and un, un, lose. Who is that mightier one? His name is Jesus. The mighty one. The mightier one. Luke 11 verse 21 says, When a, a mighty man, fall, fully armed, guides his own palace, his possessions are safe. Verse 22 says, But when a, a mightier one comes, hey, he conquers him, and he takes away the, the first man's armor, on which the man relied and divides up his plunder. All this time, this terminal disease has been, has been terrorizing you, taking your possessions, but because he's mighty. But when the mightier one comes, the stronger one, Jesus, he will conquer it in the name of Jesus. He will plunder <laughs> the government of that terminal disease in the name of Jesus. He will cripple the headquarter of that disease in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Oh, may God Almighty give you that good health. May your body be strong. Yes, Lord. You may think that your body, maybe now your body may be too far gone. Maybe the slave master has eroded your life, taken away, siphoned your strength, ravaged you by that disease. Maybe you appear to be close to death. Then wait and see the touch of the Lord tonight. I am praying that God will touch you tonight. I pray that he will set you tonight in the name of Jesus. Whatever terminal illness you have is not your portion. 
is not a problem for Jesus. You may call it a problem for yourself, but it's not a problem for Jesus. Yes, my Lord. It's ours. May he locate you. May he heal you. He heals people. He heals people free of charge. May he heal you tonight. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord strengthen you. May he fortify you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Great things shall happen when we call on Jesus' name. Great things shall happen when we call on Jesus' name. Great things shall happen when we call on Jesus' name. Great things shall happen when we call on Jesus' name. Sickness shall be no more when we call on Jesus' name. Great things shall happen when we call on Jesus' name. Cancer shall be no more when we call on Jesus' name. Great things shall happen when we call on Jesus' name. Leukemia shall be no more when we call on Jesus' name. Great things shall happen when we call on Jesus' name. Call him Jesus, 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 Jesus. Great things shall happen when we call on Jesus' name. Sickness shall be no more when we call on Jesus' name. Call him Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Great things shall happen when we call on Jesus' name. Jesus. Something shall happen when we call on the name of Jesus. Romans 7, 13 says, Whosoever shall call upon the name, that person shall be saved. My dear people of God, I invite you at this hour, begin to call on his name. Call him the healer. Begin to call on his name. Call him the terminator. The terminator of terminal disease. Call him, call him. He is the mighty God. The God of miracles. Ask him to touch you. Begin to call him now. Let him touch you. Let him vindicate you. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus definitely wants to heal you. Jesus alone is the God who heals. There's no other God who heals. Buddha doesn't heal. Muhammad never heals. Never healed and he doesn't heal. As a believer in Jesus, you know you have a God who heals. All right? He has spoken his word of healing in your life. You are, you, you are a candidate for, for a divine healing. A divine touch. All right? Though the Lord heal in this ministry, I am using them as a, as a point of contact to locate you for your own healing. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Like a, a jumper cable, I connect them to you that the healing that touch them will also touch you. May you be jump started in the spirit. Just like a dead or a weak battery of a car is being jump started. May your good health be jump started so that you life will keep kick up with life and keep moving. In the name of Jesus. And so, I use such people as they have come to contact to connect you to the person of Jesus, the living God, the miracle worker, the one who is present in the blessed sacrament. May the power begin to flow down and begin to touch you and begin to touch you. The power of Jesus, the power of Jesus, let him touch you, let him touch you. Receive the healing power, receive the healing power, the hour of healing, the hour of healing. That hour has come. Receive it now. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Shakarabu. He taught me. Oh, he taught me. 
suggestion for you. <laughs> I do want you to do what countless people have done over the world, all over the world, including myself, and that is to give your life to Jesus. Submit to him. And if you think this is fallacy, I don't want to let you know that Jesus is real. That is not fallacy. This is real. And maybe you who is hearing me now is in this category I've mentioned now. You're just listening to the prayers because maybe it's interesting to you. Maybe it's addressing your personal problem. I want to ask you for a favor. Join me in making this prayer. And when God does that, which I know He will do, do not fail to send your testimony to the website hjamm.org because I'm sure something will happen in your life. I invite you to join me in this prayer. Dear Jesus, I need help. I have heard the message of your servant in this prayer. But I'm not a Christian. But I'm, I am one who doesn't even believe in healing because of my background. But the doctors have told me 
that I'm going to die, and I'm going to die very soon. Lord Jesus, if you truly are the living God who heals all people and all diseases, as I've heard your servant say, please show yourself to me now by healing me of this terminal illness. And then you may mention the name of the sickness at this point. I give this terminal disease to you. Jesus. The God of this ministry, I have logged into their prayer. I want to be free from it. And I ask you to miraculously heal me. Have mercy on me, Jesus. Show me the truth of who you are. Give me a direct personal experience with you, Jesus. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. I understand that the Spirit from you is holy. Touch me if it is true, that I may join them to praise you. Give me life again. Let me live and not die, Jesus. Then I will know you are the one true living God. I will believe in you, Jesus. If I leave, I will turn away from my old ways that are not pleasing to you. I will become a Christian, become a believer in the healing power of your majesty. I've heard that you are non a God of unconditional love. Father, I, I understand by that that in spite of my state of spiritual life and beliefs that you still love me. In spite of my background. But I promise to follow you, Jesus, from today. If you hear me. Please, I'm not testing you, but I'm asking for healing. My background has not given me opportunity to know you, but this testimony will be my evidence to those who will challenge me for becoming a believer in you. Give me that evidence, Lord. Heal me. I want to live. Heal me, Lord. I want to live. If you heal me, I will tell the world about you. I will have a personal relationship with you. I will tell the world that with you all things are possible because you have taken away my shame. I will receive you as my personal Lord and Savior. I will make you the director of my life. Help me, Lord. The way things are in my life, it is too bad. I don't want to die. I love my family. Lord, I thank you because I know you have taken this prayer. I believe you for the healing. And I will give my life to you as I take my evidence that you are my Lord. In the name of the Father, 
and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father, I append my hand over them. I pray in your name over them that, Lord, you heal and bless them with good health so that they will have an evidence that you are the healer, that we are not wasting our time calling on you every day. May you, O oh Lord, bless them with good health. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I command every devourer of the flesh, every terminal disease, may God terminate them in your life. May God of this ministry, of the hearts of Jesus and many ministries, that mighty Jesus, whose name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, born of Virgin Mary, may he decorate you with good health. And I command every disease in your life, Every power of darkness that's attacking your life, that is eroding your life, I command in the name of Jesus, out! I'm burning to pieces in the name of Jesus. John 8, 36 says, Whosoever the Son of God, Son of God says, Free is free indeed. May he who has set you free be glorified, and may you be free indeed. And I encourage you, visit us in the website and listen to our messages in the YouTube. And identify with the living church. May God bless you. In the name of the Father and Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And amen. amen. And amen. amen. Congratulations. Amen. 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 We prayed, we prayed, Lord Jesus and Father. We prayed, we prayed. We prayed, we prayed, Lord Jesus answered us. It is a we are so. We prayed, we prayed, Lord Jesus answered us. We prayed, we prayed, we prayed, we prayed, Lord Jesus answered us. It is where we are so. It is well with our soul. I just want you to minister it well with you. It is well with me. The Lord, the restorer of health, is restoring me. The healer is healing me. He touched me with his supernatural power. I am released from the power of darkness. I enter into an agreement today with the angels of God that is well with me. In the name of Jesus. In accordance with God's will to heal me, as the living God touches my life, I shall stand out as one who is healed. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Yes, my Lord. Thank you for blessing me. Thank you for healing me. Yes, Lord. Jesus. What the doctors cannot do, Jesus, you have done it. What man cannot do, you have done it again. Be glorified, be glorified. Jesus, yes, my Lord. Yes, my Lord. Holy Spirit, come and take over my entire being. Take my possession of my soul, my spirit, and my body. That I shall not be a temple of sickness, but your own temple. Jesus. Holy Spirit, release me from the bondage of spirit of death and hell. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, come and take over. Take over my entire being. Come and heal me, Holy Spirit. Jesus. Holy Spirit, I need you. I command every incurable sickness in my body to disappear right now by fire. To disappear in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Every trace of cancer, every trace of terminal disease in my blood, be destroyed by fire right now. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Let the blood of Jesus flow through my veins. Search me and uproot every sickness in my life. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Papa, hear me. As you are tracing my life, Father, remove every terminal sickness. Remove them, Lord. According to Isaiah 53, verse 1, because I believe your report, O oh Lord Almighty, release your hidden power in my life, that it shall be well with me. Yes, my Lord. 
any covenant regulating the state of death in my life. Ha! Break by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yes, my Lord. Jesus. Every power sponsoring this sickness in my life, fertilizing this sickness in my life, I command you now, in the name of Jesus, bound by fire, let the mighty Jesus destroy you now. Destroy you now. Jesus. Jesus. Romans ever 2. Let the law of the state of life in Christ Jesus set me free from the law of sin, from the law of death. I reject the law of death. I reject you in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Revelation chapter 11, verse 11. And after three days and a half, the state of life from God entered into them. And they stood up with their feet on their feet, and the great fear fell upon the people. So shall it be that this Revelation 11, verse 11 shall be fulfilled in my life. Yes, my Lord. Jesus, by the virtue of the state of life from God entering into me to heal me, to make me to stand on my feet, so that I will testify in the name of Jesus. Jesus, I am a moving testimony in the name of Jesus. I am a mobile testimony, testimony on wheels, testimony on, on, on movement. Yes, my Lord. Jesus. Any spirit enforcing premature death in my life, I overthrow you in the name of Jesus. I overthrow you now. Aha! Jesus! My people pray now. My people pray now. Jesus! Every spirit enforcing premature death in your life, I command them now, let them be overthrown. Let the government of Jesus overthrow them now in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord, every cause projecting death through terminal illness or accident into my life, I break you now. I break you now. I break you now. I break you now. Operation break. Operation break. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. Aha. Jesus. Pray, my people. Pray, my people. Don't give up. Don't give up. Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Blood of Jesus, speak life into my body. Speak life into my body. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. I cut off my life from witchcraft manipulations. In the name of Jesus. I cut off my life from witchcraft manipulations. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit of God, baptize me. Aha. Baptize me with good health. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, baptize me with the death killing fire. Aha! There is a fire in the Holy Spirit that kills death. Let the Holy Spirit bring that death killing fire. Yes, my Lord. Jesus, pray, 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 pray. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord is with, with me. Lord Almighty, breathe upon me the breath of life. In the name of Jesus, I overthrow the shadow of death locking around my life. I overthrow them now. I overthrow them now. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Jesus. Every spirit monitoring my health, monitoring my life, in order to ground me, in order to destroy me, in order to terminate me, bomb by fire. Bomb by fire. Bomb of fire in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Jesus. Pray now, my people. Pray now, my people. Lord Almighty, you are a good shepherd. Comfort me with your rod and your staff. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Holy Father, lead me, Lord, to the still water, the water of life. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Jesus. Restore my health. Restore my soul. Oh, my Lord and my Father. In the name of Jesus. Father Almighty, rescue me from the valley of the shadow of death. Papa, rescue me. Daddy, rescue me. Ask him to rescue you. Ask him to rescue you. 
In the name of Jesus. I will not end up in this valley. I will not end up in this valley. It's not my portion. For the Bible says, Isaiah chapter 40 verse 40, Jesus, I will exalt them who dwell in the valley. Is there any valley dweller here? Any person dwelling in the valley of sickness? The Lord said, it can't exalt you. It can't exalt you. May the Lord deliver you. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, Lord Almighty, saturate my life with your goodness, with your mercy, with your love, with the seed of life, all the days of my life. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Yes, my Lord. Jesus. Begin to prophesy upon your life now. Prophesy upon your life now. As in the age of the 30 verse 8, prophesy. Behold, I will bring again the shadow of the decrees which is gone down in the sundial of Ahaz, 10 degrees backwards. So the sun returned 10 degrees by which decrees it was meant to go down. Ha <laughs> ha! There was a man called a servant of God, Hezekiah. A terminal sickness came upon the life of Hezekiah. And God told Isaiah to go and tell Hezekiah, it was time for him to die. Hezekiah cried to the Lord. He cried to the Lord. He faced the wall and poured his heart to the Lord. Hello. He wept. He heard he was going to die. A whole king. His money could not save him. His connections could not save him. His way wishes could not save him. And unfortunately, the news that he was going to die came from God. A terminal. Look, let me tell you, God read that that it. You see the sickness of Hezekiah. <laughs> Jesus. But the Lord told Isaiah, go and tell Hezekiah that this sickness is terminal. That this sickness is is terminal. It was going to end his life. <laughs> And Hezekiah, hear this news. The Bible says in Hezekiah, I mean in Isaiah chapter 38, verse 2, that Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord. Hezekiah, Isaiah chapter 38, verse 3, play of Hezekiah. Remember, Lord, how I have walked before you faithfully and with wholeheartedness and with wholehearted devotion and have done what is right in your eyes. And Hezekiah went before the Lord. When he poured his heart to the Lord, do you know what happened? Isaiah chapter 38 verse 4 said, Then the Lord, the word of the Lord came to Isaiah. Go and tell Hezekiah, This is what the Lord, the God of your father David says, I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will add 15 more years to your life. And I will deliver you. <laughs> My dear friends in Christ, it was a terminal disease that came to Hezekiah. But when Hezekiah cried to the Lord, the Lord changed his mind. The Lord healed him. The Lord destroyed that sickness. What God did in the life of Hezekiah, I am asking him to do it in your life. You see, God is not human. God is a compassionate God. If you pour your heart to him, if you cry to him, he is going to look into that situation. He will deliver you. May God deliver you. May he deliver you. Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Hezekiah was asking for a sign that this is going to come to pass. And he gave a condition. Let let the uh, uh you know uh, let let the, the shadow of the degrees be gone down in the sundial of Ahaz, ten degrees backwards. Something that was impossible. But the Lord did it. Just to convince him that the Lord had done it. May God convince you that he has done it tonight. The Bible says that and the sun returned 10 degrees by which degrees it was, it, it was gone down. You know, it's like you praying and asking God, tomorrow let the sun rise from the west. You know, that was 
something like that. Oh, where's that for? The Lord did it. <laughs> there was sun rising from the east. He rose from the west. Jesus, let the sundial of, of your life return back in multiple degrees as it happened in the time of Hezekiah, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus, may the Lord of Hezekiah bless you. May God of Hezekiah strengthen you. May the God of Hezekiah visit you. May the God of Hezekiah let him fight your battle. Every occultic power, every power of occultism that is attacking your life, high level of occult, which God causes, that are responsible for the sickness, may they by fire, every seat of death, every seat of hell, that is against you, I step into my prophetic office, and I curse all of them, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke them, in the name of Jesus, let them expire, let them be destroyed, instead of expiring you, let them be expired, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my love. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my love. Thank you for healing us. Thank you, our God. Thank you for healing us. Thank you, our God. Thank you for saving us. Thank you, our God. Thank you for saving us. Thank you, our God. Thank you for healing us. Thank you, our God. Thank you for healing us. Thank you, our God. Thank you for saving us. Thank you, our God. Thank you for healing us. Thank you, our God. Thank you. Begin to thank the Lord for healing you. Heal it. Thank Him, thank Him, thank Him, thank Him. Begin to thank Him. Begin to give Him all the praise, all the thanksgiving, all the appreciation for what He has done in your life. What doctors cannot do, Jesus has done it. Dr. Jesus, in this clinic, Jesus clinic, He has done it for you. Begin to thank Him. This is a time of thanksgiving, a time of appreciating the Lord, Jesus. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Father, thank you for my healing testimony. Yes, my Lord, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for putting to shame the devil. Thank you for not allowing the enterprise of the enemies to supersede my life. Thank you, Holy Father. I appreciate him now. Thank you, Lord, for what you did. In the hospitals, even for people who, who don't even know them, but you have healed them through this prayer. People who are traveling that are sick, Father, thank you for healing them. Thank you for those who are in the poor villages, those who don't have money to go to hospital to get the proper medical treatment. We thank you for healing them tonight. We thank you for those who have the money, but the money couldn't save them. The money couldn't change the situation. We thank you, Father, for your mercy. I've looked at them. Thank you for extending the mercy you showed to Hezekiah into my life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Father, for even other terminal situations in my life that have defied the solution. Thank you that even this prayer, you have extended your generosity into those areas. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Just appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Thank 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 him. Hey, Jesus. Blessed be your name. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Yes, my Lord. Just begin to thank him. You cannot thank him enough. Give a time to give him thanksgiving. A time to say, Lord, I thank you. We'll give you thanksgiving. We'll give you thanksgiving. Jesus, thank you for healing me. Thank you for terminating the terminator. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, we'll give you all the glory. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. All glory must be to the Lord, for He is worthy of our praise. 
No man on earth should give glory to himself. All glory must be to the Lord. All glory must be to the Lord. For he is worthy of our praise. No man on earth which should give glory to himself. All glory. We must be to the love. Jesus, we say thank you. Thank you, thank you. Mary, we say thank you. Thank you, thank you. Daddy, we say thank you. Thank you, thank you. Jesus, we say thank you. Thank you, thank you, Father, we say thank you. Thank you, thank you, Mama, we say thank you. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, we say thank you. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, we say thank you. Thank you, thank you. My dear children of God, we thank God for the miracles he has done tonight, and we thank him in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. My dear friends in Christ, just before we conclude this prayer, I would like to take us back to Matthew 8, that Bible made it clear that Jesus told the man who was healed of leprosy to go and show himself to the priest. To go and show himself to the priest. Amen. And offer the gift Moses commanded as a testimony to them. So the Lord is talking about thanksgiving for what he has done. So I encourage you in your churches or ministries, please, that you belong to, do to make a thanksgiving to the Lord in any ministry of your church. May God bless you. Just as well, thanking God in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I thank you for what you have done this night. We cover these prayers, blood of Jesus. We cover the testimonies, blood of Jesus. We cover our good health with the blood of Jesus. We thank you, Father, for putting the devil to shame by touching me in this prayer, for by touching your people in this prayer. We give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. Every gang up to attack us again, may such affliction never succeed in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, mighty God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Amen.